Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the solemnity of the anniversary of the dedication of this church, the Cathedral of Manila. Together with Mary, our Immaculate Mother, let us thank God for the Manila Cathedral, the Mother Church of our country, which stands as a symbol of the faith and resilience of the Filipino spirit. Let us pray that as we gather around this one altar, we may draw nearer to Christ, the living stone, in whom we become God's holy temple. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God, and to, to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I, I have, have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done and in, and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who year by year renew for us the day when this your holy temple was consecrated, hear the prayers of your people and grant that in, in this place for you there may always be pure worship 
and for us, fullness of redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Kings. In the presence of the whole assembly of Israel, Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord and stretching out his hands toward heaven said, O Lord, God of Israel, not in heaven above nor on earth beneath, is there such a God as you? True to your covenant and your kindness towards your servants when they walk wholeheartedly in your way. Yet, will God really live with men on the earth? Why? The heavens and their own heavens cannot contain you. How much less this house that I have built? Listen to the prayer and entreaty of your servant. O Lord my God, listen to the cry and to the prayer your servants makes to you today. Day and night, let your eyes watch over this house, over this place of which you have said, My name shall be there. Listen to the prayer that your servant will offer in this place. Hear the entreaty of your servant and of Israel, your people, as they pray in this place from heaven where your dwelling is, hear and as you hear, forgive. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of your house, O my God, than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. For it is the God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
My dwelling shall be with them, says the Lord. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem he found, an, he found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made the whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think no one celebrates the anniversary of a building. Parang hindi pa ho ako nakakakita ng may nagdiwang ng anibersaryo ng pagkakatapos o pagkakatayo ng construction ng isang building, ng isang gusali. Even historical landmarks don't celebrate the day it was established. I know that what is celebrated are foundation anniversaries. But it is not the foundation of the building that is celebrated. It is the foundation of the institution that is being celebrated. Hindi ho tayo nakakakita ng pagdiriwang ng anibersaryo ng pagkakatayo ng isang gusali, pero ang pinagdiriwang natin ay yung pagkakatatag ng institusyon. It is the foundation of the institution who uses the structure that is being celebrated. Hindi natin pinagdiriwang yung gusali, pero kinikilala natin yung gumagamit ng gusali. Our celebration today is different. We recognize not only the people who use this structure, but this, but this beautiful structure as well. And why do, we spe when, why do we celebrate this special day? Two things. First, the beauty of this church building is a foretaste of our future home. Kapag pumapasok ko tayo sa simbahan, di bang gagawin natin ay magdasal? Pumupunta tayo ng simbahan dahil gusto natin kausapin ng Diyos. We know that we will encounter God in this place. We don't go to this place to celebrate parties. 
We don't come here just to socialize. We come here because we know that we will encounter God in this place. Kung paano natin nakikita yung ganda ng lugar na ito, patikim lang ito ng ganda na makikita at mararanasan natin sa kaharian ng Diyos. This is just a glimpse to the beauty of the heavenly kingdom. Secondly, our celebration or our annual celebration is also our maintenance check. Ano ho ibig ko sabihin? Sa mga gusali, laging merong maintenance. Tinitingnan kung maayos ba yung mga biga, tinitingnan kung maayos ba yung mga ilaw. Maintenance check is part of the routine in taking care of a structure. But our maintenance check is not simply the mechanical, electrical, or the structural maintenance. Our maintenance checkup is for us, the living stones of this church. It is us, the living stones, that needs to be checked. Tayo yung kailangang i-maintenance check. Dahil kung gaano kaganda at katibay yung bahay dalangin ng ito, sana ganun din kaganda at katibay yung ugnayan natin sa bawat isa. And the beauty of this maintenance check is, not, is that it is not just limited in this structure. It is not limited to you who are attending Mass today. In the whole Archdiocese of Manila, the dedication of this cathedral is being celebrated. But what is more unique is that it is not only limited in the Archdiocese. Even those who are joining us through our online Mass today celebrates this great feast with us. Para ho sa mga sumusubaybay sa atin, sa ating online Mass, alam ko po yung iba sa inyo, wala sa Manila. Maaring nasa ibang bahagi ng Pilipinas o di kaya nasa ibang bahagi ng mundo. Pero bahagi pa rin kayo ng pagdiriwang natin ngayon. And all of us gathered here, even through our online platforms, are part of this maintenance check. And how do we do this maintenance check? Simply by asking ourselves, how am I as a living stone, part of this living church? Kamusta ba ako bilang buhay na bato na bahagi ng buhay na simbahan? Okay pa ba ako? Okay pa ba yung ugnayan ko? O kinakalawang na? That will be our gauge. And if we find ourselves needing repair, God has always provided us the God has always provided us the sacraments as our necessary means for that repair. If our connection with God and with the community needs repair, the sacrament of reconciliation is there. If our spiritual foundation needs, needs sustenance, the Eucharist is being given to us. Kung sa mga gusali, kailangan hong mag-outsource ng mga gamit para sa maintenance, pero para sa atin sa simbahan, nandito na yung mga kailangan natin para sa sarili nating maintenance. God provides for us the necessary maintenance that we need. And this is the beauty of our celebration today. We celebrate the beauty of this structure because we celebrate the beauty of the heavenly kingdom that awaits us. And we also celebrate the beauty of the living stones. Us, the living stones, part of this church. And we do not just celebrate that beauty. We do not just celebrate the beauty of us being the living stones, but we also check within ourselves how are we the living stones have we continued have, have we conformed ourselves to Christ 
nakikita pa ba natin na nakaayon tayo kay Jesus? Ang tunay na buhay na bato, ang tunay na pundasyon ng bawat simbahan. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, His, His only, only Son, Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived by the, by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, died and was buried. buried. He descended into hell. On the third, On the third day, day, He rose again, again from, from the dead. From the dead. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From, From there, there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of, of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we celebrate the dedication of our Mother Church, the Manila Cathedral, let us bring our prayers to the Father who had, who had called us to be living stones. In our great need, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Church in every place may offer worthy and reverent worship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who gather in this church may find grace and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That those who care for the church may persevere in their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may always revere and respect every sanctuary of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that the benefactors and all the departed who worship in this church may enjoy eternal light and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as we celebrate the dedication of the Manila Cathedral, grant the petitions of our community gathered once more before your altar. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Recalling the day when you were pleased to fill, to fill your house with glory and holiness, O Lord, we pray that you may make of us a sacrificial offering always acceptable to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in this visible house that you have, that you have let us build, and where you never cease to show favor to the family on pilgrimage to you in this place, you wonderfully manifest and accomplish the mystery of your communion with us. Here you build up for yourself the temple that we are and cause your church spread throughout the world to grow ever more and more as the Lord's own body till she reaches her fullness in the vision of peace, the heavenly, the heavenly city of Jerusalem. And so with the countless ranks of the blessed, in the temple of your glory, we praise you, we bless you, and proclaim your greatness as we acclaim. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Neil. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sunset setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. So our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever 
the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
please kneel. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, I am not worthy, worthy that you should that enter, you should under, enter my under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word and, my and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray.
May the people consecrated to you, O Lord, we pray, receive the fruits and joy of your blessing. Let the festive homage that they have that they have offered you today in the body may redound upon them as a spiritual gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the Mass, I will be going around to incense the posts of the Manila Cathedral. And as I go around to incense these posts, please join me in praying for the Archdiocese of Manila, especially for our Archbishop Cardinal Jose Advincula. We whisper a prayer for the Archdiocese so that we may continue to grow as a church led by our beloved Archbishop Cardinal Advincula. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
Jesus.